96.3 VX Rock on the Range interview of Mice and Men. It's of Mice and Men time. Good afternoon, boys. Hello. How are you? Good, doing w- great. Welcome back. We caught up last year, right yeah. around this time, as a matter of fact. Exactly. And it's been a pretty damn good year for Of Mice and Men in, in the last 12 months. What's it like different from a band perspective? Is there a lot, or you're just out doing your thing? You know what, I'll be real. I think in the last 12 months since we've seen you, we've had a total of 12 weeks off. Yeah. So, you know, for us, uh, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, being on stage, looking out, it looks different, you know, but for us, we're just grinding, doing the same thing. So uh, I guess from internally, it doesn't really seem like a lot's changed, but, you know, we, we see the hard work paying off. The, the shows are a lot more intense, bigger crowds. Oh, yeah. More people singing along. It's been awesome. What's that like uh, when you when the first time that you saw somebody singing your song to you? It's crazy. I mean, I, I you know, I, I think uh, everybody who writes music, who writes lyrics, who writes anything like that, does it somewhat for the crowd, but somewhat for themselves. You know, and I think to be for me to be on that stage to be singing a song like feels like forever, and to see people singing it back, it makes me feel like you know maybe I'm not alone. You know, maybe maybe what I've struck is something that's universal, and I think. Uh, as much as it's cool for fans, you know, to say, like, they get a lot from our music, you know, we get a lot from seeing them connect with it. Yeah. You know, and you guys have been around for a long time, and you've been doing this stuff for a while now, uh, but it's just kind of been new as far as the world of radio kind of getting involved in Mice and Men. Uh, is it appreciated from your standpoint, or is it like, hey, about time, dicks? Thanks no, a lot. No, 100%. You know, like, we've gone into it. Bands like us don't get radio play ever, so it's not anything that we ever really thought about or... Um, you know, ever thought that we'd be able to kind of utilize because radio is a huge way of expanding your fan base. And, you know, for, for a band like ours to be able to sell out a, a 2200 cap show without ever having radio play and then to have that and to see a bunch of new faces, you know, every night when we're on tour, you know, at, at Austin says in the set, how many of you guys have never seen of Mice and Men? And half the crowd raises their hand. And, you know, we know that that's because of things like that. So it's, you know, we want our music to reach everybody, and radio is a huge way of doing it. So thank you guys, especially for supporting what we do. It's about it's about our industry kind of catching up, because it's not like you guys have changed much since since you started. You're still doing your thing, and you're doing it your way. It's just, you know, it's kind of moved this way towards what you guys are doing, which has to feel good as well, that, that sometimes it's catching up. But it just takes us a little while sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But, but it's also something that we don't, you know, we don't consciously think about it. Right. But, I mean, you know, rock and roll is still alive and well. It's just taking a new shape. Sure. We need to get you guys out west more. Oh, yeah. Well, we're uh, heading out that way soon. I know. But Boise, it's just yeah. like you're right there. But but we haven't seen like it. I mean, I think a Warped Tour might have been the last time at a Mice and Men show was, yeah. it was in our backyard. But uh, we got to make so. that happen, man. We got to make that happen. That, before that, I think we headlined uh, a year before that Warped Tour in Boise. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's the name of the venue? Uh, probably the uh, the Big Easy or the Knitting Factory at the time. I think what? it was the Knitting Factory. The knitting Factory? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but either way, uh, yeah, we got to get you guys back because uh, it's one hell of a show. Out. One hell of a show. And uh, I just saw you just released a whole bunch of dates, so y- y- the 12 weeks off isn't going to change much. Uh, you're going to be yeah. road dogging it for a little while, huh? Forever. <laughs> <laughs> Until we, we're going to rock it until the wheels fall off. That's what it's all about. Now, do you guys, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't like to look too far ahead, but do you like to write on the road? Are you looking forward to the next album? Are you thinking about that kind of stuff? Always. Yeah. It's, it's At least for me and Aaron, it's not like a stop and start kind of thing it's just always creating and always writing music we've got you know our mobile recording rigs on the bus and if we ever have like a a day when there's nothing going on we'll work on stuff you know it's always good to be prepared for the next step of what you're going to do rather than showing up at a studio and having nothing and being like okay well we got to start from scratch you know it's always i guess our brains never really stop working yeah yeah we always we always keep the ideas flowing and then you know once once tour's over, we can kind of switch our brains from being, you know, half writers and half entertainers to just full writing, and we can kind of get really into that artistic vibe. But, I mean, we're, we're always working. We're always working on new ideas, you know. Um, I've learned that if you have something pop in your head and you think it's good, it's better to get it out before you forget it <laughs> than yeah. to try to remember it You'll later forget on. it real fast, especially <laughs> being out on the road. <laughs> For sure. You forget a lot. That yeah, makes sense, man. Well, it's always good to catch up with you guys out here at Rock on the Range. And here's hoping, man, we get a Boise date soon to see you guys. If not, I know you're around our area. It'd be worth the road trip, I think, for some people to connect you guys live. Absolutely. For sure. Absolutely. Well, thank you. Of my cement out here at Rock on the Range. It is Nick and Big J the morning after on 100.3 The X Rocks.